Hey there guys, DMO73 here, bringing you the second deck profile of the day. This is the blue, white, black Shion list that you saw played on Wednesday. This is an updated version, uh, the version that I played against with Greg. Um, he was playing the version that hadn't been updated yet, uh, but their team was kind enough to give me the updated version um, that they actually used in the full event at Pittsburgh. Um, and uh, one of their players was sitting at top tables for a pretty long time, so that was pretty awesome to see. So this is, uh, you're gonna see some cards that are a little bit different, cards that you're not going to see, um, but uh, they gave me the rundown about the updates to the deck and why they did it. So, obviously we start with Shion, a songstress of Shangri-La. Her big ability is to be able to look at the top card of your deck at any time. Really important to this list. For Judgment for 3, she flips over. She becomes Coup d'etat Mastermind Shion. Uh, she's a 9-10. She's kind of hard to see, so I'll zoom in there. She's 9-10. Um, she has the ability to um, continue to look at the top card of your deck. Uh, when she enters the field, you flip over the top card of your deck. If it's a resonator with total cost five or less, you put it into the play. Otherwise, you put it into your hand. And she has a God's Art for two blue to give her plus five, plus five, and do a one-sided duel of truth. So like she gains the attack and then deals damage equal to her attack to target J slash resonator. This is really powerful. Like it's a really powerful God's Art to be able to get in the lethal damage there, uh, especially when you have Levitine to kind of back her up. It's, almost, it's really devastating. In terms of stones, uh, two Hymnals Memoria, simply because it's free draw power and it's really, really good. Uh, three uh, Light Vapors and three Dark Depths to help hit the different colors that you need. And then two Moon Shades to kind of wrap it up. Uh, the life, you, get, you get a lot of life gain in this deck, you have the option for life gain in this deck, so Moon Shades aren't really a big issue. Moving on to the Resonator lineup, it's just a lot of draw power, uh, four Cheshire Cats. Um, obvious, set up your cards for Shio and set up, you know, let you dig into the deck more. Two, Alice's Little Scout for some extra draw power when they die. And for extra uh, kind of card filtering, uh, three, Trader of Shangri-La. So all of the one drops are pretty much just draw power and chump blocks. A one of Hera, because it's, in a sense, it's searchable with this list and you can use it to pop regalia if you need to. Two Humpty Dumpty, so that he has a way to pull out creatures. Uh, specifically, one in, there's one creature in particular that he would use with this, but he would set up really good combos with Humpty Dumpty, uh, where their opponent would do something. He would uh, use Hydromonica to set up the perfect card for Humpty uh, for the situation, and then just immediately use Humpty Dumpty to banish, pay one blue, banish him, and reveal the top card of your deck. If it's a Resonator, put it into play. So really kind of situational free summons from the deck, which was really good. Uh, one Celestial Wing Seraph, and then two Lucifers to grab off of the Celestial Wing Seraph. Um, pretty obvious. Gets to sack a dude when it comes into play. You get to bring one of these guys out into play when she hits. Life gain from all three of them. Pretty standard there. Pretty awesome. And then he ran a one of Arthur and a one of Purple Mist. Again, for those situational cards to be able to bring in with Humpty and um, Shion herself. And then a one of Leviathan. So this card is crazy. Um, when it comes into play, you discard your hand. Uh, then return all cards your opponent controls, uh, resonators your opponent controls, with total cost less than or equal to that number, back to their hand. So you just get to pop the whole uh, board, essentially. And you can banish a water stone to give it plus two, plus two. Banish two water stones. Uh, and this card can't be, and it has hex proof. You manage three water magic stones and you just bounce your opponent's whole board. So it's a 15 15, which is a lot of damage. You can flash it in on your opponent's turn to immediately start swinging in and disrupt their plays with Humpty Dumpty. Well, just lots of really powerful things happen with this. He told me that uh, in, the, in his top matches, this card did a lot of work. Moving on to the Regalia, we run um, four Levitine for the swiftness and four Hydromonica for being able to obviously top deck whatever you need. Um, two Death Scythe to be able to make the most out of the God's Art and stuff, and then one Horn of the Sacred Beast to be able to filter back in. You saw in that matchup that he was using the Flying, he, he had some Apollo Spheres, they just, or Apollos, they decided that it just in the long run wasn't worth it. I mean, Flying is great, but I mean, once Shion uh, dies or, or can't flip on time, then those kind of are just dead cards in the deck, so they decided to remove it to make some more room for some utility. And then spell lies, uh, two Dreams of Wonderland. I mean, the deck can stack whatever it wants on top of the deck, so Dreams of Wonderland's not a big deal to be able to guarantee a bounce of something. Uh, four Space-Time Anomaly for your judgment, for your J-Ruler hate and hard removal. 
plus some more draw power. Three, sign of the future to be able to kind of, if you're falling behind, you can play more of a defensive game and really mess with people. And then only one Dream of Juliet and one Glimpse of Kakia. Um, they just decided that they could search for it when they need it. So like having multiple copies wasn't super important. So they decided to beef up some of the other options and go down to just a, one of each of these. So there you go, guys, that is the list. Let me know what you thought about it down in the comment sections down below, what you would change, what you liked about it, whether or not you're gonna try to run this deck. Um, so we'll go from there. Go ahead and like, comment, and subscribe as always. And until next time, this is DMO73, signing off.